hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in the last tutorial we, lead, we, we went ahead and created this uh swagger ui for our flask application and i'm able to uh, run all tests and everything was running fine so in this tutorial we're going to do, go ahead and actually add a uh, cross to our application so cross stands for cross origin uh, resource sharing so this allows uh, other other uh, other resources like other services to be able to access your api which are not specifically on the same like domain right so you're not running on the same server but to be able to access uh access the resources so this is stands for cross origin or uh, cross origin resource sharing if I'm, i remember clearly it's called that's the short form long form for cross so yeah cross origin resource sharing so yeah it stands for cross origin resource sharing uh, so it en enables uh, you to share resources for example you have a flask uh, flask application running on a different server and your uh, and your react application running on a different server then you can be able to uh, integrate this tool that's what the course enables you to do so first of all you need to install this so i'm just going to open up my terminal i'm going to close my server clear the screen so i'm going to do a uh, pip 3 or whatever pip you use uh, you can do again install uh, this is going to be flask dash uh course just like that you press enter this go and actually install for you this library so while this library is being installed uh we're going to just go ahead and read a small documentation we're going to implement a simple usage so the simple usage case uh it instantiates the flask course extension which uh, default arguments in order to allow course for all domains that's what you want but if you want domain specific right you can read the documentation this is how you can implement a domain specific using uh, this uh, decorator but in this case we are only going to go ahead and actually implement the uh, simple usage we are going to uh, uh, have allow course for all uh, routes or of our application because we want all of them to be accessible so we're going to come up here and then you're going to go uh, let's check if it's finished installation yeah the installation is completed so we can go and say uh, uh, flask so we're going to say uh, from flask dash underscore this will be underscore course import course if i get the uh, let me check documentation again uh yeah from fl uh, from flask underscore course we're going to import course and we're going to pass in the app so we're going to come down here and then you're going to say allow uh, cross or region uh, resource sharing so i'm going to come in and I'm say course all uppercase and i'm going to uh, course and i'm going to pass in our app that's all we need to do so uh, let me just go back and check the documentation yeah that's all we need to do to allow a uh, course for all our applications so i'm just going to go to my uh, server uh, my terminal i'm going to write uh test out by python again and everything is running so now we can write close uh, cross origin uh, on our application so if you have a flask application now we can integrate the flask and then the the flask application and then the react application okay they might not necessarily need to run on the same server but to be able to integrate them so that's all uh there is to the how to allow course for all our routes so that's all i wanted us to discuss in this tutorial if you find this helpful kindly give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so stay guys thanks for watching and again if you want to in implement like a, a, a route specific one this is how you do it and then you can read the documentation right here so thanks for guys for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial uh keep safe